Hello, guys. How are you? Are you okay? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. How are you? Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How is everybody going? So far, the good? I'm fine. Hey, that's nice. Is it raining where you live, guys, or not yet? Here is raining. Really, Jenny? A lot? Yes, it's a little bit cold. It's a little bit cold. I'm so happy that it's cold because here, where I live, to be honest with you, it's really hot. I thought, oh, it, really? Was a, I thought it was supposed to rain a lot because it sounds like tornado or something like that. And during the day, it has been really hot, but I think it just rained for a little bit. And now it's hotter. Ah, and where do you live? Well, I live in the mountains, you know, <laughs> because this is where I live. Basically, I live um, in the highest part of uh, Cusco Clan Stadium. Ah, okay. Really, really above. But, um, well, here, I have to let you know, here is really fresh. But I Hello, don't know teacher. what had happened. Hi, Naomi. I don't know what had happened recently because uh, it's supposed to be really cold, but the whole day has been really, really hot. I think it's everywhere is so, so hot. But here just now is a little bit cold because they're Yeah, running. that's what I think. Well, hopefully, you know what? Uh, maybe really late night, it rains again and I will be able to sleep like a baby. Uh -huh, yes. <laughs> yes. I love to sleep uh, uh, with the rain. I don't know about you guys, but I love it by heart. So do I. So do I, teacher. Yes. I love it. Too. I love it. It's because I think uh, that the rain pampers you. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? Pamper? Come. Pampers you? No. 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 Oh, okay. For example, guys, a uh, do you remember that when you have a baby, right? They put like pamper, right? Yeah. Okay, ah. okay, pamper. Because sometimes ah. pamper is baby, right? So when, for example, when I said the rain pampers you, the rain pampers you, that means that the rain treats you like a baby. Right? Ah. That is expression. Pampers you. Like, for example, your mama pampers you, right? Oh, your <laughs> husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend pampers you. That means they like, treat you well. Treat you well, treat you nice, and make you feel comfortable, right? That is what it means, pampers. Okay? So, so okay. when you said pampers you, you can also use that expression when you're talking about that somebody cares about you. Okay? It's a new, it's a new expression that you learn. I, I think, guys, that you do you already know the word pamper, but you associate just with babies, right? Yes. Yes. Uh huh. But yes. but also you can use that expression when you're talking about that somebody cares about you and try to make you feel comfortable and lovely. So the rain pampers you that makes you feel like ah, relax like a baby. <laughs> so so you can use that expression, pampers you. But it's no pamper, it's pampers you. It's a plural. Mm -hmm. So the end, right? Yeah, it's exactly. like a price over. Uh-huh. <coughs> All righty. Oh, hey guys, tell me, how's your day going so far? Is it good? It wasn't so dark. Yes, it was great. Really? Wow. Why you said it was great? What did you do? I bought a uh, a new tablet. Ah, so that's why it's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was a gift. It's my toy. <laughs> ah, it's a toy. So you don't use it for work purposes. You use it for entertainment purposes. Mm, for to study at the university. For ah. the, yeah. Well, at least it's for 
Ah, no, for academic purposes. Academic, uh, yes, academic purposes. That's, and, and you have Candy Rush and all the stuff, right? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just teasing you. No, but uh, sometimes you have games there. That is good. Okay, really? And what is the, the, the dimension of the tablet? Uh, uh, 10 inches, no? It's a big. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> no. well, but it's useful for you. Yes. That's good. So that's why she's happy. She has a brand new tablet. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> and and, and Roxy's like yes. <laughs> Very good. So who else has a different uh, or an amazing day besides Roxy? Jenny. Yes. What about you? Do you have an amenity day? Hi, Jamie. Ah, I love your background. You have Snoopy, right? Uh, let yes. Me see if, oh my God, no, I can't. It's because now I own my room because it's raining. You I see? Can, you know, I don't know if you can it. see. No, you cannot see it, right? Ah, yes, I can. Is yeah. the same? Nah, let me check. Yeah, actually, it's not. Uh, it's a candle. No, it's not a candle. But it's, I a, think it's, it's a bottle. It's like a lamp. Ah, it's a lamp. Um, it's a lamp that I that I put like is a sticker on. But yes, it's the same sticker. Yeah, you know what? And also, there's a place uh, here, like this one here, when you have a switch here. Ah, you, yes. you cannot see it, but Snoopy is sleeping as well. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my husband's favorite cartoons, Snoopy. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I have a uh, like yeah. I, I don't know. This the prince. The prince. The little prince. The little, the little prince. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing <laughs> book as well. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, that's thank you so much for sharing your day. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. And I have a lot of things as well. Okay, guys, who can tell me what day is today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Twenty. Oh. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one. Wednesday, July. Oh. Wednesday. Twenty-one. Uh -huh. 21st. 21st. Thank you, Paolo. So it's Wednesday, 21. July 21st. What? 21st. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing the year, I think. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> 2022, 20, 2023. 20. Ah. 20, 20. 2021. Yes. Yes, Letty. You can say 2021, or you can say also 2021. It's perfect. Yeah. Both of them are correct. So who can help me write it? Uh, Sarita Quintanilla, could you please be so kind to write today's date for us? Gosh, I knew it, did you? <laughs> hey, I love your earrings, Sarita. Yeah. Ah, yeah, thank you. I love it. Oh, my God. They're so beautiful. I love it. I love the big ones. Yes. So write, write, write for everybody the date, okay? Let's double check. We're going to double check it together. I'm just going to wait for Sarita to write it down for us. There you go. But don't take the whole class, okay? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right. Okay. Sarita, hurry up. Hi, <laughs> <My> teacher. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. We have Saul, Glendita, Dani, Liz, Paolo, Leti, Gabriela, Gabriela Garcia, and Gabriela Gutierrez. There we go. I love Ciro's background. I love him. He's like. Did you send it to us? Did you send it to the WhatsApp or to the chat, Sarita? Uh, ah, to the WhatsApp. That's the reason WhatsApp. why. Wait a minute. Let me check. Where did I put my cell phone? Ah, uh, no. Where did I put it? I suppose uh, I think no. I have it here. I have it here. There you go. I think I have it here. There you go. Yes, I did. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Let me see, Sarita. No, I think it's not here, Sarita. Nope. Okay. Oh. No, it's not here, right? Right, Roxy? It's is not here. No. Uh, in the chat group, no. No. Uh, in the chat of the meeting, 
No. Do me a favor, Sarita. Try to write it on the Zoom chat. Yes, because it's not here. Mm -mm. Maybe you sent to somebody else. Ha ha. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Ha -ha. I don't know if she has uh, the same problem to me that I can ah, send that, the message that in the could, chat of the that meeting. That could be, Roxy. I don't know why. Me neither, because it's supposed to work fine. Did you send it or no? Not yet. Not yet. Ah, okay. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Be careful with the capital letters and the punctuation, okay? Today I'm gonna send it to you the punctuation text information. Edwin, Edwin is joining class. Very good. Hey, yeah. yeah, I'm happy to listen to you. I wanna see you. I prefer to see you. No, Sarita, nothing comes here. No? I think Sarita has no, the same problem as Roxy. Yeah, maybe that could be yes. the reason. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, no problem, no problem, Rain, Sarita. Ra raining. Ah, that Very could hard. be the reason. That ah. could be the reason why. Oh, uh, let me check. What about, you? what about you, Jennifer? Can you please write it down? The date. Today's date, please. Yes, if you don't mind. Okay. Today is don't worry, Sadi. I understand. 21, 21 of July. 21. 21st. No? 21st. 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 Yes, remember, guys, that when we date, we're going to use ordinal numbers. No cardinal, ordinal ones. Only 21st. for dates, of course. Mm -hmm. 21st, exactly. 21st. Uh -huh, Jenny. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. I'm typing. <laughs> it's just like pick up for you like that, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, are you really? <laughs> just dizzy. Oh my God. Don't tell me like you're like this. Kick, 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 kick. Oh my just God. On the tablet. It's on the tablet. It's, like, it's faster. <gasps> oh my God. You should work in a call center, guy. Me? Yes. No. <laughs> yes, because it will help you with the pass away. Wednesday, 21st, July. Aha. Uh -huh. Guys, what do you think about what she wrote? A comma. Aha. Uh -huh. And what else? <gasps> yes. Aha. Uh -huh. but, but there's something else that is wrong. The position. Uh, the, 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 the ordinal number, the ST. Aha. Aha. Not the edge. Uh huh. Exactly. And there's another thing that is wrong. Is ST? Sarita, now right. you have it. Okay, so you said Wednesday. Very good. Ah, uh, yes, because it's like first, right? Yeah. Uh huh. So Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday is correct. Then you have comma. Perfect. What else is after the comma? Is it the ordinal number? Or see oh, the month. The, the, the month. The month, exactly. So you got to put the month. So it's going to be July. And then the numbers, uh, right? The number. Uh huh. And finally, the year. The year. year. And period at the end. So this year. one is going to go right away. <laughs> yeah. Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. I know that is maybe is a basic thing but it's really important not to forget it, okay? That's why I'm asking you that. Hey guys, we have a talk about how was your day and everything, right? May I ask you something? Um, do you remember what did you do last Saturday, Cirito? Cirito, Cirito. Tirito. I think Houston, we have a problem here, right, guys? What do you think? Tirito. Maybe it's cooking the Teacher, dinner. <laughs> right now it's raining very, very hard oh. in Santa Ana. Okay, uh, I have a problem for here, you. Ah, I understand. I thought you were cooking the dinner, like Sarita said. 
<laughs> no. What? I thought you were cooking the dinner. Okay. Okay, don't worry, Zirito. I understand. What about you, Saul? Let's listen to Saul. Maybe Saul is able to do it. Or it's raining a lot as well where Saul lives. Maybe. Yes, I think so. Uh, Lisette, what about you, Lisette? I can hear you. <laughs> it's not draining here. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, we can hear you, Saul. Now, yes. Yeah, but are you talking about the last Saturday? Yes. What, uh, I what did? did you do last Saturday? Yes. Uh, yeah. I went to Apaneca and I visited the Albano Library. And I don't know if you know that place. I know Labyrinth, Apaneca. Al Albania Labyrinth. Uh -huh. uh, you know what? I have passed to that, but I have never get into. Uh -huh. Labyrinth, okay. It, it's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. uh, you can taste a uh, delicious coffee. If you prefer, if you rather strong coffee, you can go uh, and taste uh, excellent drink. And moreover, uh, or play, I, I don't know how to, to say, uh, in juegos, uh, uh, I don't remember the name, but uh, I saw people in bicycle uh, into the air, crossing the air into uh, a wire. It's a, it's a dangerous experience. Uh, do you understand my uh, what I, I mean? It, it's uh, in that place. Mm -hmm. uh, our delicious coffee, oh. but you can enjoy it. Uh, juegos peligrosos. Dangerous I don't know. games. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, okay. many tourists trying to enjoy the, the show and practicing the. Maybe it's, it's kind of like an adventure, right? An adventure game. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That's yeah, nice. That, that's interesting place. Yes, huh? definitely it is. So you see, yeah. guys, why? Thank you, Saul. Why I ask Saul about what he had done? Or what he did last Saturday, because guys, what is the what is exactly the verb tense that we use to talk about things that we did in the past? What is Simple the verb past. tense? Simple past. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you already know how to use the simple past, right? It's easy peasy quizzy. Is that correct? <laughs> Everybody's quiet. I don't know why. It's difficult when you speak. <laughs> nah. Do you have to remember the simple past? We use it to talk about things that start in the past and end in the past, period. Like what Saul said. I asked him for something that he did last Saturday. So that activity start on Saturday and ended up on Saturday. Hmm? And finish. Finish. All right. Now, guys, um, I don't know if you have used this verb tense. I think you do. But may I ask you something? Um, what about past continuous? When do we use a past continuous? It's also in the past, but when, when do we use it? When Jose? something happened, when something started at the past, but it's continuous, uh, the present, something like that. Ah, Sometimes. that is present perfect. Uh, <laughs> yes, that is present perfect. Uh, but uh, you have an, a, a similar, is yes, it is a similar idea. Very good, uh, Jose. Uh, let, let me let me <laughs> try let me try again. Okay, do your best. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, uh, we're talking about past continuous, right? Uh huh. Uh, I I think that it's the action. Uh -huh. uh, that it, uh, the I don't know how I can explain. Uh -huh. There is progress in the past. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
exactly. So, for example, um, you, and let me ask you guys, before I move on, do you remember what is the structure of the past continuous? Yes. Uh -huh. the, the subject, uh -huh. the verb to be, mm -hmm. and past. Uh, the main verb, but you add ing. Mm -hmm. Very good, exactly. And complement. And complement. Can I have an example? Letty, uh, he, was, I was, he was not uh, speaking. He was speaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. I was watching TV. Uh -huh. What else? Another one, Jenny, Glendita, I was Josué. speaking. I was speaking. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I was cooking in question, when you arrived. Mm -hmm. In question, uh, was he speaking? Mm -hmm. Was he speaking? Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, so you have the idea, right? Okay, cool. Excellent. Guys, but do you think that we can buy, you know, we can combine the past continuous and the simple past? Can we combine them? Can we use it together? What yes. do you think? Yes, mm -hmm. you can. Yes, you can. For what? Uh, because you sometimes you you uh, did uh, one activity, but it's interrupt, interrupt, uh, but uh, with another activity. For example, uh, when I uh, when I uh, I was watching TV when uh, my cell phone rang. Exactly, very good. Oh, some of you happened something. I was, I was in my favorite English class, right? <laughs> I was, yeah, I was participating in my favorite English class when it started raining, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly, guys. So you're right about that. And Roxy is right about that. Guys, we can use past continuous and simple past when we're talking about two actions. The one has already started, but something happens and there was a second one that interrupt the first one. For example, Edwin. Edwin yes. said, I was listening I was to music watching the, the game of the Salvador and Mexico versus Mexico when when, when the line when went the off. Lines, yeah. Gosh. And you said, no, who made the gold? Salvador or Mexico? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so and, it's, and, and hmm? you are oh, the lines go going up. I said, know. Oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That had happens to me when somebody's like. Something is like, wow, I was watching like, for example, a movie and you said, oh, and, and it's like a really entertaining. And then there, there was a power off and it was like, oh my God. And, no and kidding. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that happens. That had happens yeah. to you guys. Sarita, I don't know. Danny, Glendy. <laughs> yeah. Maria Racinos. Yeah. Rainer. Yeah. Again, yeah, oh, yeah, I hate that. Okay, guys, so this is going to be like a really easy peasy queasy review. Okay, we're going to recap that. That's to give you like uh, tools and brief recap about the grammar thing, about these two main verbs, topics. And then we're going to like, you're going to give me a lot of examples. Okay. <laughs> are you ready yes i know that you're ready you're yes. my babies yes all righty yeah. very good it was like yes all righty yes, yes very good that's the spirit that i need okay so let me give you my presentation bear with me i'm gonna share my now my screen don't worry there you go there you go there you go okay can you see it yep okay yes can see Okay, so it's a past yes. continuous versus simple past. All right. You know what? I try to make a shorter. So guys, this is going to be like a quick reminder of the rules using simple past and past continue together. Okay, this is like a quick reminder. Okay, mm, this is no, the example. It's, clear. it's not clear. The image is not clear. The image is not clear? No. Not clear. Ah, okay, would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Okay, bear with me for a moment. It's going to be clear. Don't worry. Da, 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 da. What about now? Is it much better? A little. 
What about now? Now it's better. It's better? Okay, cool. All right, guys. So I want you to take a look at this because when we use it together, you see, we, there's an example, the one that we we're talking about. I was watching television when he arrived. Guys, this one, this first one, is it simple past or past continuous? Past continuous. Past continuous. What about this one? Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Exactly. Very good. May I ask you something? The first action is a long action. I was watching television. I, I didn't let you know at what time I started, right? But this, this action has been started before. So this one, guys, it lasts for a period of time. We, therefore, use the past continuous, right? The second action is shorter than the has interrupted the first one. So it ended up in past simple. And basically, guys, this is like a quick review. We're going to use ED, right? And the past continuous is formed, as Roxy said, was and were, plus the past participle of the verb. Is it clear? Yes, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Easy peasy queasy. I know that you're perfectly smart guys. Very good. Okay. So let's continue with this one. Let me raise this one a little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Okay. Oops. There you go. Okay. Guys, may I, this is really important because when we use these two tenses together, it shows us that the past, simple past happens in the middle, guys, in the middle of the past continuous action. That means that the past continuous action was in progress when the simple past appears. And this is an example, but guys, I, I want you guys to take a look at something. Somebody wrote to me something. How do you write the second one? Wait a I think, okay, there you go. Take a look at something, guys. This is really important. And when we are using, guys, past continuous, this is one of the words that we're going to use while. Okay, while I was a study, coma, I suddenly felt sleepy. Okay, guys, and take a look at this one. When. We're gonna use when before the simple past. Not, not guys before the past continues, no? This is not. We're gonna use it before the simple past. This is really important not to forget, okay? That is gonna be one of the clue of the keys that will let you know what exactly, what kind of bird tenses I'm gonna use. Am I clear? But, but ahead, sometimes ahead. you you use because in the platform there are a, a one example about that uh, that no. I write what in the chat. Uh huh. Do yes, you remember? That, that, that was about to explain it to you. Because uh, it's not that no, you're gonna use it with with past simple past. What happened, Roxy, is that you need to make sense about the information because sometimes. You can use it. You can put the simple past before and then the past continues, or you can put the past continues and then the simple past. So that what had happened in the platform. But you're gonna use when only with simple past. And while with a past continues. That's it. Okay. So what you gotta use and you gotta be careful is exactly what you're saying. What had, had happened in the, in the platform. That, that was the reason that you like, oh my God, it was past continuous or a simple past. But when you try to read the sentence again, you say, uh, and try to find the logic, right? The logic of the sentence, then oh, okay, now I have to use these verb tense first. Mm -hmm. But I think it depends on mm -hmm. the, the bird because the, mm -hmm. and one example, the bird is, is um, have, no, have. Have, mm-hmm. About the having baby when when they living in in when they living in Vancouver. <laughs> in Vancouver? <laughs> Do they, you remember that they, one? Uh-huh. They had a baby when they living in 
Oh, Vancouver, Vancouver. Uh -huh. Is where is before the 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 present the past continue. Uh -huh. But it was after simple past, right? No, was living. We're no. living. Uh -huh. When they were living. When they were living. Are you sure? Yeah. I remember in that way. <laughs> I think no, it's, it's while. It's while they're living. I will send it to you that information. That's what I'm trying to, to help you with this right now. Because it is it is exactly that, that way. It has to be when and while. You cannot mix it. Wow. I will show it to you but right in now. In that case, uh, I don't know, my classmate, uh, <laughs> do you remember about that, about the example? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? I, I watched in the example right now. It, uh -huh. it said, uh, why I was having lunch, the alarm went up. While, uh, right? Yeah, while. while, while and was for example, lunch. when he was watching TV, when somebody uh, knocked at the door. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's what I was trying to explain to you. While so, he... teacher, the difference, yes, the difference between uh, the, these two words, it is the short action uh, with the simple pass when I need to use when, right? Mm -hmm. and exactly. While the long action used in the past continuous. Exactly. You're right about that. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Jose. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That is the difference. That's what I'm trying to show it to you right now. So bear with me. Let's continue. Let's move on. So guys, we often use these verb tenses to show an action interrupting another action. For example, I can say, I broke my leg when when what when i was dancing <laughs> <laughs> when i was dancing ah, we can do that or for example you can say um we were watching television when the power went off for example let me give you another example and i like this one <laughs> hopefully you love it too let me share right now my screen with you really quickly there you go there you go mm -hmm. Can you see it or would you like me to make it bigger as well? No. Can you, would you want me to make it bigger, guys? Yes. Okay. What about you? Uh, this is better. It's better, better. Right? better. Okay. You see the action A. He was having a shower, right? That is a simple path or the past continues. But what happened in the meantime that he was having a shower? What happened? The, the phone ran. The phone ran, exactly. So you see, while he was having a shower, coma, the phone ran. Mm -hmm. You mm. see? While is at the beginning oh. of, a, in this case, what has continues. But here, there is, I think it's gonna be the clarification of about Roxy doubts. Let me give you the second example. She was having a shower, coma, when the phone rang. Guys, what is the difference here? Who, Roxy, can you can you let me know what's the difference on the first sentence and the second the sentence? First, uh -huh. it's subject. Uh, no, it's you use in, in the first one, you use while. Mm -hmm. And before the the past continues. Uh -huh. And after you and after I finish the past continues, uh, you use sentence, comma. I use comma exactly to begin the simple past verb tense. What about in the second sentence? He was having a shower when the phone rang, but you use comma again. It's not correct, right? It is. It is correct. Why? It's not correct because we, he ha, he was having a shower comma when when you use when in the middle you don't use comma yes you do yes you do well is this punctuation and why <laughs> you uh -huh. don't remember that yeah you need to remember punctuation guys punctuation you use, it's really when cool. you use when you don't use comma Yes. In the middle. Yes, two, you can do both it. Sentence. You can do it because you are wow. separating two ideas. 
You're separating two ideas. But you don't separate them with when. <laughs> yes, you do. When you use the 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 when and while is uh uh what is the is an, what is the, the the name of the particles? You tell are, me. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't remember. Uh huh. But uh, yes, you do. Another. Um, Why? Why? Because. Another? Uh huh. Uh, not really. Well, depends of how you use it in the sentences. Depends. But in this case, Roxy, for example, the first tense. I well, I was having la, 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 I was having a shower, coma, when the phone rang. That means the first action happens and then the second action appears. What I want you guys to take a look is that if I'm in the first sentence, I put while because I'm, I will put in uh, the past continuous. So I use it and I separate it by comma. And the second because sentence- you use while at the beginning. Exactly. But at the second sentence, I didn't use it. So you have the chance to use it or not use it. But if you use it, you're gonna put it before the past continues. And if you do not use it, you can leave it on the second section, but if you want to use when, you're gonna use it on the simple past period, on the simple past section, but since you're going to divide the ideas, you need to put comma before. That's what I want you to show it, that if you use when in the middle of the sentence, grammatically and punctuationally correctly, you gotta divide it by comma. That is what I want to show it to you. That's why I, I ask you guys to punctuation because for me, punctuation is really, really important. If you write it the sentence, uh, if you write it the sentence and if you forgot the comma, the comma is, it, it, that sentence is wrong. Teacher. Yes, Betty. Uh, go ahead. As, as in Spanish, the comma mm -hmm. is used to the separate to the ideas. Mm -hmm. It is uh, used to talk about the same topic, uh, about uh, something else, else. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, you're right about that. Tell me something, let teacher. Yes, go ahead, Jenny, right? Jenny, go ahead, Jenny. Yes. Can you use while in the middle or when at the beginning? No, you only can use it at the beginning. No. At least, Why? at least, and at least. when in the middle. Uh huh. For example, you can you cannot put, for example, the simple past first, and then the past continues. Can you? You can use. Uh huh. But can I put it in the opposite way? Yes. Uh huh. I don't know the idea. Uh, I I would like to see the the sentence again. Oh. Yes. Do me a favor. Let's let me share right now on the screen. I'm not telling you that it's right or wrong. I'm, I just want you guys to think. Let me check. Okay, there you go. This is the two. Oh, would well, you want me to make it bigger, guys? No, okay. I, I, I Better? can't see anything. Let's go for I can it. see it. What about now? I can see. I can see. I can see. I can see. No. Is it better? I can no, see. Maybe, maybe it's slow. The, the okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe the internet a little bit slower. Oh, yes, okay. Okay. Uh, but the, my classmates said if it's possible, say the, the, the phone ran while he was having a shower. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's a question for her. Can I say it? You said the phone ran, right? The phone ran, you said. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write what you said, okay? And you said coma, like that? No, for me, it's not. Uh -huh. When I was having, you said, right? A shower. No. That's what she said. I'm not saying that it's right or no, wrong. I, I don't say that in that way. I say the, run, the phone ran while he was having a shower while okay so you said while okay only change the 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 the, the, the order no, no. The oh, maybe uh yes maybe 
the simple past at the beginning. No, okay. no, no. I want to I wanna listen, Roxy, Jennifer. What was your, your, your question, Jennifer? If I, if can I use while in the middle of the sentence, for example, like. Like the say? one on road right now? The phone run with, I was, yes, mm -hmm. it's possible. Yes, it's possible. As long it as, is, as long as you put while in the past continuous section. Ah, okay. Don't in, put it on the simple past because it's going to be wrong. You're going to say while the phone ran. I was no. having a shower. You cannot do that. Uh, because while is in the, Spanish, if you translate it into Spanish, while is mientras. Okay. And when is cuando. So you cannot say mientras el teléfono sonó. That makes sense? No. No, right? When you said so while you I was having a shower, mientras yo estaba tomando una ducha. El teléfono sonó. So you see, guys, why I make you emphasize that when is with simple past and while is with past continuous? Mm. See? Yeah? Yeah. I don't know, Jenny, if I uh, answer your question. Yes. That's why, guys, I emphasize that. Because you need to make sense of what you are writing, what you are saying. While is mientras. So you need to put a while with an action that is in progressive, even though it's past. And when is cuando. So you cannot use when with past continuous. It doesn't make sense. Is it clear? Do you have any question? You can ask as many questions as you want. I'm here to help you. Sorry, I don't want, I don't, I'm sorry about my tone of voice. I'm sorry. It's not, I don't want to make rude. No, it's not, it's not on my business. I don't know. I don't know. Sarita, Glendita, Gabby, Paolo, Liz, Elwin. The moment it's okay. Glendy, yeah. Yeah. Thank it's you. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, That's what I want you guys to emphasize. Is when is cuanto? Exactly. If you exactly, guys, please try to make logic about what you are saying and what you are writing. Exactly. And uh, also, yes, go ahead, Roxy. I have a question about it. Go ahead. In the in the platform, there are one example. I I I look for. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. In the in the second section, in the first knowledge check, say the exercise. Mm -hmm. The couple, uh, what is the number for the space? And the space have in, in, in the bracket, the mm -hmm. child Ooh. when they space living in, in the bracket in a tiny apartment. Mm -hmm. In the answer is the couple had their first child when they were living. Mm -hmm in a tiny apartment mm -hmm. is before the the present the past continuum hmm. then you let me know when, which is number three you said right yes number three let me check it out uh -huh. i imagine it's about the the bear is the mm -hmm. is it's not sense of the sentence is, is you used in the opposite way. Mm -hmm. When the couple. When the couple had their first child when they were living. Guess what you said? Yes, isn't that the example? Is the example mm -hmm. number three, right? That number way. three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are another example mm -hmm. like this one. Mm -hmm. Which one? What else? Uh, um, let me check. Which, what else, uh, Roxy? Uh, this one. Tracy and Eric met when they were working at the same restaurant. You see the, the, the answer correct? Ah, the no, 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 no. No. You the need second. to, you need In to the like. Seven, seven uh -huh. exercise. You need to think about what you are saying. Because you said 
they met when they were working. We, this one is, it, we're not talking about using past continuous and simple past to, to talk about one action that occurs when something happens. That is different. That is different what you're saying because you're telling something that happens in the past. But now what we are using, what we're talking about Roxy is an action that was occurring and it was in the process of occurring in the past when something else with the second action appears and interrupt the first one. It's nothing to do with what the example that you gave us. Oh. Oh, you see, that's different. But, but I, I say to you this kind of example because I don't yes. know about what is the answer in this case exactly. in that way because you don't use when uh, before the present, the past continuous and in this case you oh, use. Uh -huh. This is in my doubt. Yes, what is I the understand. Reason? Yes, I understand what you're talking about. And it is because right now, Roxy, we are talking about uh, how to use past continuous and simple past together when we're talking about our announce, uh, sentences or an action that occurs in the past and the second one interrupted, Interrupt. interrupted. That is mm. one way to use it, oh. okay? One way to it use it. It is another However, way to exactly. use it. However, that is another way to use it that is nothing to do with the example that we're giving right now. Oh, okay. That's, that's why it's your doubt. But if you want to, what I'm gonna do because that is like, um, I will give you like more uses of that. Because right now we are just seeing one way to use it. It doesn't mean that it's the only way to use it and that's it, no. There are many ways to use it. But when we use the other way, like the example that you gave it to me, it has a different rule and it has a different structure. For example, oh. the, the, the example that you gave us that you said they met when they were working together that makes sense because what, what the other way to use it is that, for example, you explain, you are in that, in that sentence, Roxy, you are not like saying that one action is started and the other one interrupted. No, in that sentence that you're letting me know, that when part is gave, gave us like, um, how can I say it? Like uh, extra information or emphasize a, the place or how that couple met. You see, for example, how that couple met. That couple met because they were co-workers. That's what you're letting me know. So if you if you if you pay attention to the sentences, guys, of what Roxy is giving an example, and it's really good. Thank you, Roxy, for for bringing up that example because that will help everybody clear it up that sentence that Roxy is letting us know is that the when part, a Roxy, it, uh, it gives you like an extra information when the couple met or how the couple met. So that's why you use the past continuous in that case, just to, to emphasize. You can also say, for example, they met when they were like, uh, assisting on a soccer match or you can say they met when they were uh, they were seeing or watching a live concert you see you can also change the win part am I am I make myself clear a little bit Roxy I think I, I understand <laughs> No, no, no. I, yes. I think no. I think no. Oh, you do or you don't? Come on, Roxy. <laughs> yes, I understand the difference. The because the the action in the past not interrupt the another action is mm -hmm. it's a moment of uh, in the the time mm -hmm. when the when the another uh, action in the past continue uh, happen. Uh-huh, exactly, exactly. Guys, do you understand the difference about what we are seeing right now and the doubt that Roxy had? Edwin, Jenny, Leti, Sarita? Yes. Glendy? Yes. Okay. Yeah? I want that yes. you understand because this is really important. Why? Because Roxy have, have been working in the platform, which is really good. And hopefully guys do work with the platform as well. But you will face that doubt. 
when you were working on the platform. So that's why it's really important to come up that so everybody got clear and do not face like, oh my God, and this, what am I gonna do here? Okay, so that's why. No, thank you, Roxy. Always, I welcome the doubts and that's where we're here to clear any doubts that you might have. So you now, thank Roxy, you. learn, no, thank you. You learn two ways to use them. One, the one that we're showing right now, but the other one that Roxy made an example. And you know what, there are more than that. So please, Roxy, don't have a break, a, a brainstorm, okay? <laughs> no, no, she, she has like a, what? How do you say that? Like a heart attack or something like that. No, okay? <laughs> but you will, you will fade. No, that's okay. You will fade more circumstances than those guys. Because you know what? That's what is the, the beautiful of English. That, um, for example, to talk about the same thing or a different things, you have many ways to say it. And that's what I love. But now, guys, so far is it good? Let me give you something and one example here. I have um, chosen for you guys also, like, uh, how can I say it? Um, like a square between simple past versus past continuous. So let me give it to you something. Uh, I think I'm going to share right now with you. It would be much better. Yes, uh, Letty. I understand that the free action is in two roots, mm -hmm. the second action. Mm -hmm. The first is continuous past, by the second is simple past. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In the, in the one that we're seeing right now, you use when with simple past and while with past continuous. You can put it at the beginning of the sentence. You can use past continuous first and then in the second sentence you can use simple pass or you can use it in a different way doesn't matter but you gotta separate it by comma that's what i needed that, that you emphasize that i sent it to you guys can you see it because right now i send you like a little example of will be the main difference there's more i promise i will give it to you that but let me check it out did you receive it guys the one that I sent it to you? Yep. Yes, I'm gonna make, ooh, yes teacher. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So, guys, the simple passive, the one that I show it to you right now, you can use it to talk about actions, habits, and facts in the past. In the past continuous, you can use it for interrupted action, for a specific time as an interruption, or parallel actions. So you see, Rossi, the, um, for example, the example that you gave it to us is a parallel action because they got, they got, uh, they, they met while they're working. So it was a parallel action. That's it, consensus, right? For example, you can say, uh, Elwin, Cirito, and Lisette met while they were having English class, for example, you see? It's a parallel action. Yeah. So this is clear. Yeah. You see? So it's this is the, the main things. However, you can still use it for a different topics in a different way to speak. But I will hold your horses, okay? Hold your horses. <laughs> I will I will give you more clue after that. Guys, do you have any doubts or any questions so far? Well, Jenny, Harita. No. Paolo, Gabby, no, Rainer. No, teacher. No, okay. So no. I, want, I want you to give me an example, okay? Uh, let me check. Lisette, can you please give me a sentence? A sentence. You seen both. You seen both. Past continuous and simple past. Oh, um, I was eating dinner. Then my dog barked. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Cirito, can I have another one? Or oh, I don't know if Cirito is still having dinner. Maybe. I think so, right? Edwin, what about you? Do you have any uh, sentence for me? Edwin, Houston, do we have a problem here? I think so. Yes. Okay. Uh, Yes, can I have a sentence, please? Just in past, continuous, and simple past. Edwin. Uh, why, no, uh, why no cooking a dinner when the class is over? 
<laughs> yes, that's a good one. That had happened to me. And you were like, oh my God. And I was cooking scrambled eggs. Can you imagine? <laughs> Yeah, that that had happened. I, I think everybody has passed to that situation, right? That you were cooking, you didn't know that the gas was off. Oh my God. And so and tell me something, Elwin. What did you do in that case? You ordered some pizza? I don't know. No, I <laughs> would. Ah, okay. That's good. But lucky you that you have wood, but in our case that we don't have wood, I think we're going to put it into the microwave, right, guys? Maybe we can use a microwave. Yeah. Very good. Very good example, Elwin. What about you, Jenny? What do you have for us? Okay. I was sleeping when somebody knocked the door. I know. I hate that, especially on Saturday. Yes, Push. me too. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. Very good. Sarita, what about you? What do you have? Yes, while, while I was looking for the window, it's raining in the rain, rain, raining in my mujer. I, I, I got wet. I, 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 I got, got wet. wet. Yes. Oh, I no. got wet. I'm sorry to hear that, <laughs> but, but that happens as well. Very good. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Sarita. What about you, Danny? What you have for us? Um, I was watching Netflix. Then I forgot to do my homework. Ash. I remember. Hopefully, it's not English homework, right? No. Now, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, okay. I forgive you. Don't worry. That's okay. <laughs> Very good, Danny. Thank you. Paolo, what about you? Teacher, can, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Um, yesterday, I was playing soccer with my friends when it started to rain. <laughs> Okay. Can you please repeat it again? You were cutting off. Huh? You were cutting off. Can you please repeat it, your sentence once again? Please. Uh, yeah. I was playing soccer when it started to rain. Oh, you, ah, when, when it started to rain. Okay, very good. Yeah. You don't like to play to, uh, when it's raining? No? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, right? Nice, yes. It's nice. I used to play yeah, basketball nice. with my father when it started raining. I like it. I love it. What about you, Roxy? But I... <clears throat> I did... Thank you, Paolo. About the, the plane. I, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I confused with my idea. Don't worry. Think about it. Uh, I did about the Paolo said, mm -hmm. but when I was, was a child, uh -huh. not yeah. actually, no, not at course. the moment, no. or in, in my age. <laughs> in my old, age. I think. Come on, Roxy, you're not <laughs> too old. Don't worry about that. But you know what? I think it's because uh, I think the rain right now is a, it's a little bit more toxic, right? Than when we were a child. Yeah, because I, I remember... Yeah. That it was raining a lot and there was like a, a like like a little um i don't know how to say that in this in English, spanish let me check chorro yes chorro come up from the roof of the houses and you were like like i taking a shower right on yeah. the street right <laughs> but you know what you you could do that and you didn't got sick right but now yeah. just a little drops and then you're like <laughs> so the rain is more toxic today than in yeah. the past. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. So that's why I think we could do that. But now mm -mm. It's, it's, you cannot do it. So I think we enjoyed our childhood, right, guys? We enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. That was really amazing. Sentence. 
You have a sentence, but wait a minute. <laughs> I know the whole your horses. Roxy, I, I, I want to listen to your sentence and then I'm going to listen Glenn. On uh, my sentence. Yes, please. Okay. I was having a meeting while my mother was sleeping. So you had a meeting while your mother was sleeping. Yeah. That's nice. Thanks God your mommy wasn't sleeping. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Roxy. What about you, Glendy? Uh, I was having dinner when the parrot beat me. <gasps> no kidding. <laughs> oh my yes. God. You, and do you have a parrot? Yes, I have one parrot and I was drinking soda and I think he it, wanna drink soda it too. Like soda. <laughs> really? Hey, can uh, you show us your parents? Uh, can and, you show us your parents? It was, uh -huh, it was uh, calling me. Glenda, Is that good for Glenda, for Glenda. His <laughs> Can you imagine a parrot drinking soda? <laughs> no. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Wow, it's not good for him. He's not good. Can you imagine his heart beating like this? <laughs> Letty, can you imagine a mojito tequila too? Yes. A parrot <laughs> drinking soda. Wow. Can you show us your parrot or no? Uh, let me look for a picture. <laughs> ah, okay. I, I want I, I want to see him like drinking soda. <laughs> a video drinking soda. Ah, a video. You have a video? Uh, no, I don't ah. have, but I'm going to. Hey, yes, you should live? like record it. Yes, you yeah, record it. <laughs> Can you imagine a parrot drinking soda? That's the first <laughs> time that I listened to that. That's amazing. <laughs> you know what? One of my Poor dogs, <laughs> Chestnut, loves a. Uh, sweet bread but not alone i had to like put it a little bit mm -hmm. on the coffee and then with the coffee flavor i give it she, to she uh the this parrot eat and drink like a human <laughs> no kidding yes well that's really nice <laughs> <laughs> okay guys you know what time is over time passed really fast wow okay guys so there's no homework for today but i will send it to you information that you will help you a Thanks, lot teacher. okay thank you uh -huh. yes you're gonna be my teacher forever. I, I, I say something about the platform i finished my the section two is it's better because good. I, I received some some message about the but you need to work in the platform but no but you already finished that's good that's good yes the second section okay yeah yeah it's because there's that information was sent in like in general okay just like a friendly reminder but if you already have finished don't worry about that that's good okay guys so you have dinner continue drinking soda with the parrot <laughs> all right <laughs> Hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.